Do girls these days just want to win the X Factor or marry a footballer rather than win an Olympic gold medal? That's uh, the view, at least, of the new culture minister, Barbara Follett. And Barbara Follett is saying many young girls lack aspiration and society is in danger of being Barbie dolled. We went to find out whether the girls of Glasgow are just wannabe wags. I want to be a lawyer because they make loads of money and then it'll help me when I get older. I want to be a vet because I want to look after animals. I don't really know yet. <laughs> when I grow up I want to be a presenter because I've been going to acting and I really enjoyed it at school. I don't know what's something to do with crime scene investigation, you love that. Oh no, oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, nothing really. Doctor. Why would you not like to be a wag or an expert? I don't like the fact of people following you about all the time with cameras and stuff. Mm -hmm. Footballer's wife doesn't sound too bad. But... Yeah, doesn't sound too bad, really. And th th let's face it, some footballers' wives have very good careers in their own right. Let's talk to Sophia Mason, who's a businesswoman who visits schools to try to inspire children. Hank Roberts uh, joins us from a teaching union. He's spoken out on this subject before. Hello to you both. Hello. Hi. Um, Sophia, first, do you think Barbara Follett is right when she says too many girls want to be... Wags, Not at all. I, I, visit, um, I visit quite a few schools talking to people. Obviously, I run my own business. Um, I work in the television industry in makeup. Um, I didn't do too well at school um, with regards to exams, but have gone on. You know, I've, I've got 50 odd people that work for me around the country now. Um, being working in makeup, I also make my living by working with girls like Leona Lewis and Cheryl Cole. Um, I, I, I aspire to them. I can put my hand up and say, I stand in front of my mirror and sing on a Saturday night. But Hank, you've noticed the difference in aspirations for girls in the classroom, is that right? Well, it's not just me. Our association conducted a survey and found that 70% of teachers, when asked the question, was celebrity culture having an influence on aspirations? 